This is where the Monet Davis story begins. A little diamond tucked down a tight street in South Philly. Marion Anderson Recreational Center. We're on the horn, second base. This is the home of Davis's original team, the Anderson Monarchs. Years ago, the center's director, Steve Bandura, noticed a feisty young girl who was playing football with older boys. Six years ago, late October, we just finished up a 10-year-old fall baseball game, my, one of my Monarchs teams. And I look out, and in the middle is this little girl throwing these beautiful spirals. Like throw after throw, perfect spirals, perfect spiral. And she's throwing like 20 yards. Like, this isn't right. He saw her throwing the ball. He said, this little girl could throw. And she was tackling little boys. She said she was seven, and I told her that I just started working with a seven-year-old group that's going to be a Monarchs team. And it's all boys. If she didn't mind, I'd love to have her on the team. She's not intimidated by boys at all. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Where's no. that come from? She'd rather play with boys than girls. And the only time she ever played with girls was sixth grade year in school. She played basketball with the girls. Bandura helped get Monet into the Springside Chestnut Hill Academy, a private school on the other side of Philadelphia. To get there each day, she takes a 90-minute bus ride. Her bus comes between, you know, 6.30, 6.45. If she have practice after school, it's over at 4. Right from practice, she come right back here. She come home, it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock, and she never complains. Like her unshakable demeanor on the mound, the 15-hour school days for the past four years has not changed the honor student, according to her closest friends. She's like the type of person who just starts dancing in the hallways. She's very funny, but she knows how to be serious at times. That's why I think she shows on camera her like serious side, like, oh, no sweat. She is probably one of the happiest, most centered, uh, wonderful little girls going through the school. She's the kind of girl who can sit at anybody's lunch table. We have like a field day called Blue and Gold Day. And I was asking her, who are the, some of the fast kids in class? She listed a couple names and she paused and looked at me and said, well, is it bad if I say myself? And you know, that favorite quote from the year, um, it just says who she is, you know, just the humble, humble person. Every outing, Monet is a trending topic among fans, celebrities, and star athletes on social media. The 13-year-old is this week's Sports Illustrated cover girl, joining Serena Williams, Marion Jones, and Beyonce as the only black woman featured on the national cover of the magazine this century. She like the hottest thing around now. <laughs> like, she don't even realize it. I don't think she really understand, like, this is like national. I never thought in a million years, you know, my daughter will be so famous in baseball. 